Welcome to Hombil TV, I'm Wamla. For years, development of the Dimapur railway station has been taking a back seat due to massive land encroachments on all sides of the station. In this regard, the additional divisional railway manager, Lomding Division, in which Dimapur falls under of the Northeast Frontier Railway, Baldev Singh, spoke to Hombil TV. Let us have a look at the details with our reporter, Esther. Baldev Singh, who is the additional divisional railway manager of the Lamding division. And we are here to talk about what is happening with the Dimapur railway station in regard to development and what are the issues and challenges faced over here. So, uh, sir, thank you for speaking with us. Sir, can you please tell us exactly uh, why there is no development of the Dimapur railway station? Of course, we see it outside from uh, the entry and all, but then inside, what is exactly happening? Can you please give us a few reasons of why there's no development? No, there's no development. This uh, I don't agree there is no development. Uh, in the past also, we have done a lot of work for Dimapo. Dimapo is a very important station as far as railway is concerned because it's uh, uh, touching uh, Nagaland uh, um, as one of the mo most important station for uh, Nagaland. So uh, we have done a lot of work for Dimapo. Yes, there are uh, many other works in pipeline uh, in future also. We have already planned a lot of work, uh, like uh, a doubling is coming up. Right now you can see this is only single line. So doubling has already been sanctioned. We have already prepared a detailed estimate and it has gone to railway board. And the railway board is likely to sanction very soon and we are going to start the doubling work as well. So once the doubling work is comes, the number of trains will increase and uh, we will require a lot of infrastructure. We are planning to develop a a station uh, of the world standard, so called a world class station. Railroad has already given the consent for uh, this uh, conducting a, a preliminary survey for it, and we are going to develop it as a world class station. The only hitch is basically yes, we have a lot of land here in the Dimapo. So, problem basically facing is the uh, is, uh, encroachments. You can see uh, if you go uh, towards the uh, uh, Gawati side or to the uh, it is a thin sukhya site, percutting site, both end of the station yard as well as uh, on the surrounding area as a full of encroachments. There are uh, hutments, so there are uh, pakka structures and everything is there. We had started, uh, you know, the kind of uh, uh, little bit of expansion of a platform. You can see there is only one platform which is taking a passenger. Other platform, you, even the cover shed is also not there. You can see that there. So we had uh, already started the work of extension of the platform. Uh, so that we can provide the covering and all, but we are not able to do it because there are encroachment uh, around it and uh, once we had started to, uh, uh, removing it, the people had gone to the court and uh, the matter is under the litigation right now. So though it is a railway land basically, but uh, since it is not being uh, you know, vacated by the encroachers, so we are not able to do the justice with, the, with these stations. But yes, we are on the job right now and uh, I'm very hopeful that we will be, you know, uh, we'll be able to vacate those peoples out of it and uh, we will do that development. Railway is uh, very, you know, dedicated to get it this uh, uh, Dimapur station developed. So how many platforms uh, does Dimapur railway station, you know, uh, is it supposed to have? How many platforms exactly as of now? Uh, right now we have three platform. Uh, we are in the running platform. We take a passenger train. We have another platform only for the good circulating area. Uh, the right now the three platform. But uh, plat number two and three, uh, we don't have any cover shed. So we are only small, uh, you know, individual isolated uh, structures made for uh, covering shed. Uh, as such, we don't have a covering shed that we can see in plat number one. The reason we uh, see that that's only the reason that we are not able to, you know, expand. There are a schedule of dimensions which is infringing on plat number two. So that is required to be, you know, widened out. So we are not able to widen out. So as far as the number of platforms required are concerned, uh, these platforms right now we have, these are more than sufficient right now to cater the uh, traffic we have. But in future, yes, we will be requiring maybe another two platform to uh, handle the, uh, you know, the traffic kind of passenger uh, we are, we are, we are emphasizing. Uh, as uh, reported, Dimapur is the highest revenue generator in uh, the Northeast Frontier Railway in regard to the passengers that are coming in and going out. So, w shouldn't this be of more importance right now in the Northeast to have this station, railway station, be more up, uh, you know, and about and more world class, you know, being the highest revenue generator? 
this is true uh, this is one of the uh, you know station which is giving a highest revenue it's not highest basically it's one of the one of the stations are very others other stations also in northeast 20 railway which are giving the revenue to the railways but yes dimapur is a very important uh, station for us as far as the revenue is concerned and we are planning this i told in the beginning that we are planning to develop this station a world class station but see the, the world class station the the name itself suggests that it is a world class doesn't mean that uh, we have to create a few structure and uh, make the world class station and make the facade and all this require a lot of facilities for the passengers see the world class station the passenger should 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 only uh, you know walk uh, 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 without any entrances uh, there should not be any difficulty level the exit and uh, the entry level has to be a separate the parking has to be a separate the the people people should not face any kind of problem and see the station is like a city center it should see the dimapur even dimapur you talk of the guwahati or dimapur any major station the city the station should be a city center why the city should we should be alone we are part of the city we are part of the development a railway is looking for the development and the, the, once the station is a part of a city then it should be a city center people should already come to the station for catching up a train the my in my view the people should come to the station to you know to buy something to they can they can uh, for, come for cinema they can come for the hotels they can come for the restaurant they can come for the leisure uh, uh, point of view so that's a world class station so we so that for that we require a land and land yes railway has a land i told in the beginning that railway has a land there's a lot of land we have but the land has been encroached over a period of time over a period of time it has been encroached and it has to be vacated we are putting up efforts uh, definitely the things will come up and you'll see the development we have already developed the station uh, as per the present requirement but in future yes it has to be developed further and we are on it what role does the state government have in this basically for the encroachment that is happening in their jurisdiction so what role does the state government play in this see the land is a state subject state government has a lot of role as the law order is concerned we had taken land from the state only so the land as far as the encroachment concerned the removal is be required a cooperation with the state government the matter is being taken up at the district level uh, many times it has already been taken at a secretariat level in the kohima also we are on the job state is also you know kind of a, uh, they are also want to development uh, development as far as the nagar and is concerned i'm sure the uh, time will come the people uh, will be uh, evicted from the uh, this thing and uh, we will get uh, it, uh, you know development so uh, after this eviction has happened and everything uh, once that is done and an encroachment lines and demarcation is made in these all uh, from both ends actually and then left and right as well so do you think that development will happen and then platforms will start uh, more trains more passengers be able to take up uh, you know go take up more trains with the more platforms yeah this is surely see this is only single line even for double blind we do, don't have a land you could just go and see there are lot of encroachment even we, we can put a we don't have an inch of a land we can put, we can put the second tier we have to put a line there so once the second line comes the de definitely the train will increase we require number of trains with the passengers uh, definitely we get the better facilities even the uh, railway electrification work it is going on the target is december 2022 so that electrification comes there are infringements uh, as far as uh, this is concerned as a uh, road over bridge uh, in the uh, work cutting side this is required to be dismantled probably because uh, there is an infringement of height so this will be required to be reconstructed again so where we will be reconstructed the railway end has already been closed it has to people has to you know they they used to be evicted or uh, they have to put somewhere else by uh, by the by the authorities Uh, so that uh, we can go for the construction of these rovs and uh, go for the development so you're just waiting for the state government to take action on the eviction or moving of these people encroachers and then you can start the work is that uh, what you are uh, saying sir not the state government exactly basically see the and uh, removal am um, an eviction uh, removal of the encroachment is, is a responsibility of railways but the state government has to cooperate as they have to provide us a lot, um, as per the security is concerned the lot of situation is concerned they have to help us get the things evicted so once the land is evicted then the the kind of uh, development we are carrying out i told you that we are we are expanding the platforms we are putting uh, making the uh, shelters we are constructing a foot over bridges those work will again start you can see and see the go and see the progress work. workers at halt 
we are not able to progress it. Double line, I have told you that uh, ex uh, estimate has already gone to railway board, the work has been sanctioned, we, are, we have already planned the work. So once we don't have a land, you know, even we cannot say to the railway board that we will uh, execute the work. The land, ha land has to be the first in hand, then only we can go for the development. Uh, our Hornbill TV, the last few days we have been reporting at the railway station and a lot of lapses can be seen in regard to COVID SOPs being taken seriously. Uh, passengers are not checked for their RT-PCR, negative RT-PCR reports since that is mandatory at this point. So sir, uh, do you have anything to say on that? No, not, not like that. Uh, RT-PCR reports, it is being checked. Even though we are issuing that uh, ticket uh, based on these RT-PCR tickets. Uh, RTBC reports, uh, it, thermal screen is also going on. We are emphasizing some, or some kind of, yes, there are few, few here and there, the people sneak into it and uh, maybe uh, I, I, I don't say that everyone is uh, being checked and it is a kind of a fortress we have provided. But yes, we are, we are making all things to ensure. We are asking people to uh, you know, wear the mask, we are making a frequent uh, uh, announcements also and uh, things are going on. But hopefully things will be under control. So these porous pockets that is there in the Dimapur railway station, you know, uh, the porous uh, pockets where people just get in and get off. So will there be anything done about those where people just jump off the train and, you know, get off and get into the town or the commercial hub or uh, these porous places? Sir, would, would there be a check on that as well? So but I uh, told you the beginning that uh, once we will go over the overall development, the things will definitely will be, you know, the, the things will be combined up. And we will uh, be putting up all the security arrangements. Then there will be there will be no kind of sneakers and all. So we just spoke to Mr. Baldev Singh, who is the additional divisional railway manager of the Lumding division. And Dimapur does come under the Lumding division. Now we will check out exactly where the encroachment is happening and how uh, large this issue is and how big this issue is becoming. Let's have a look. Of a total land area of 58.34 hectares, only 15% has been used up by the railways for passenger and staff amenities and approximately around 60% has been encroached. Platform number 2 at the Dimapur railway station is currently only 4.62 metres wide with no shelter nor any foot over bridge for passenger movement between platforms. However, there are many projects already sanctioned for the development of amenities in Dimapur railway station which includes eight baby passenger platform sheds, foot over bridge in the middle of the station including lifts and escalators. But all this is on hold as the width of platform number two is not sufficient. In 2014, there were sanctioned projects for all the said amenities. The platform needed to widen up to 10.60 meters. For this line number three needs to be removed and a new line is to be provided for goods handling which was already underway until court cases were filed by encroachers stating they had land documents near the railway bazaar West Yard. Since 2015, the project has been stalled due to the status quo issued by the court. However, the status quo has been violated by the encroachers and no action has been taken against them. Dimapur is among 400 stations all over India chosen for development into a world-class station by the central government as announced by the railway board. But for the same to happen, the land has to be freed from encroachments. Railways have been taking up the matter to the Nagaland government every now and then, but nothing concrete has been done till date. Towards the East Yard Colony, there are a few court cases in existence and the court has issued a status quo. But even after that, 16 new shops have been constructed. The railways has filed an injunction in the court but to no avail as the construction continued and the shops are now running, which is a clear violation of the status quo. A total of 15 encroachment cases, including four cases related to mandirs, are in the court. But this is just a few which are documented. In total, there are more than 1,500 unauthorized structures in existence, of which only 1,000 are in the survey report and the remaining could not even be surveyed because of various reasons prevailing in the commercial hub. One entry to the passenger reservation system building has been closed because of encroachment causing undue trouble for the passengers. Further, the Lumding Furkating double line project is already in the pipeline, with survey completed and tenders on the way for uploading. 
The work is supposed to start from June 2022. However, if the encroachments are not removed, the project will not materialize, it was informed. So we have just found out that 58.34 hectares belongs to the state of Nagaland for the railways, but then 60% of it has been encroached so far and only 15% has been utilized. And might I also add that Dimapur is one of the three railway stations out of, let's say, over 400 to be nominated to get world-class railway stations. But due to the encroachment issue and having no land for development, the project cannot be sanctioned as yet. And the RLDA will be pursuing this project, but then due to no land and due to the encroachment issue, Dimapur is yet to know what its status is in having a world-class railway station. Reporter Esther with camera person Johnson signing out for Hornbill TV.